Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jawad Bashir. I'm an endocrine consultant. Um, I'm going to show you the difference uh, in the injection techniques for uh, usage of Manjaro or Ozempic. These are two uh, different medications that are being commonly used for management of type 2 diabetes. They come in form of injectable pen devices as you can see. Uh, now the, the difference is uh, uh, quite significant because uh, Ozempic will give you um, four dosages over a period of one month whereas uh, Manjaro will give you just one dose uh, per week and this is a single use uh, disposable pen device now I'll just show you a demonstration um, uh, for Manjaro it's very simple there is no attachment of needle you just have to remove the cap do not forget to remove this cap this is a dummy device there's a lock and unlock on the top uh, the needle is visible but um, it is not something that you can feel or attach you simply have to unlock it and uh, let's take this uh, dummy um, um, uh, specimen here you will just put some pressure uh, on on the, on your flat part of tummy or thighs or arms where there shouldn't be uh, muscle it should be f um, a fatty area and we, we we push one click so what you would see here is a piston coming down and um, it returns back so you have two clicks so the first click means the needle went in the second click means the needle is back out and you can just remove it and throw away uh, the pen device it means the full dose has been uh, administered uh, whereas for uh, Ozampic, it is slightly different. Uh, you would need to attach uh, a needle on the top. Uh, the needle uh, is similar to insulin needles as uh, you would see. Uh, there is um, a cover on the top which has to be removed. And after removing the cover, you see the internal bit of the needle here, which goes on this uh, rubber ball on the top of the pen. And uh, this comes like a screw. Now, once it has been nicely screwed, we remove this needle, uh, this is this the first uh, cap, and then there is a protective sheet. Now, it is usually advisable that uh, you, you test the device as well, um, which is to make sure that the needle is working. So, so there, there, there is a, a small mark here, as you can see, before the, this uh, uh, segmented line comes. Uh, this, uh, th this is between zero and, and this mark here. This is a test dose. So you can actually uh, do a test dose uh, and, 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 and make sure that there is a drop coming up. If there is a drop coming up, uh, which uh, suggests that the pen is working fine, then you dial all the way to the end. So when you dial all the way to the end, for example, this is a, a demonstration pen for 0.25 milligrams. Uh, you uh, select the side which can be abdomen um, or your thigh or arm fatty bit. You'll have to pinch a little bit of skin here because this ha doesn't have a flat surface like the pen for Manjaro. And this has to go perpendicularly into the, uh, the skin. And when you are injecting at the back, uh, you have to see that the whole dial goes back to zero. When it has gone back to zero, the uh, medication has already been administered. Uh, you have to count till um, 10, um, just briefly like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, to make sure that the last drop has been um, uh, administered. And uh, you can just remove the needle. Every time there should be a new needle, uh, do not put um, this small protective sheet back on because um, it is a hazard for pricking yourself. Uh, just use this um, uh, bigger cap to uh, remove the needle and throw it away every time you should use a new needle the pen should be kept in the fridge with a cap on it uh, not in the ref uh, not in the freezer uh, uh, in in the door of your uh, refrigerator so it doesn't get frozen so the the main difference uh, between manjaro is that this is a single use pen device which would be thrown away uh, after being used whereas for ozempic uh, the same device would be used next week